Betting my wrong, Lewis. 250 Somalian. Sure you want to bet all of this sundown? Yep. Whole hog or none, Lewis. And the tail goes with the hide. <laughs> all right. Well, boys, I guess we're about ready. Now, let's have this thing thoroughly understood. I'll fire the gun to start the race, and you boys will follow the horseshoe road around back here to the finish. And the first one across the line gets the gravy. Uh -huh. I know uh -huh. Understand? Uh -huh. All right, back up, boys. Give them some room. Uh -huh. All in. Get ready. Short, fella. You boys have broke me. <laughs> Never mind the dollar. When you get it, have a couple of good drinks on me. Thanks. Reckon I'll be needing them. <laughs> hey, boys. We better vamoose. Here comes old Sour Face. What do you think I'm running? A ranch or a racetrack? I pay you men to work, not play. 
We understand that, Mr. Manning. But a little fun now and then doesn't hurt anyone. And you'll take your fun on your time off. We haven't had any time off for months. I didn't think you'd object to an hour. I do object. As foreman of this ranch, you will carry out my orders, or I'll find someone who will. Then you better start finding them. I quit. You're fired. You're too late, Manning. I've got three months' pay coming, and I'd like to collect right now. I can't pay you quick enough. Now get off my ranch. It'll be a pleasure. You can pay me off, too. If there's anybody else who don't like the way I run this ranch, let him step up. I ain't blaming you. You did the best you could. We can't win every day. Well, Lewis, I guess this just isn't your lucky day. The boys broke me, Sundown. I can't pay you. I guess you'll have to take my horse. I wouldn't have any use for him, Lewis. Well, I reckon not. Wait a minute. Here's something I might offer you. I won it the other day. What is it? It's a deed for 640 acres in the Panamint District. I don't know anything about it. The fellow I won it from said this fine soil has got a house and barn on it. It ought to be worth a lot more than I owe you. Are you sure it's clear? All but a few years back taxes. The gamble, Lewis, but I'll take it. I haven't recorded it as yet. I'll transfer it to you. Fair enough. What's your full name? Jim Sundown Saunders. Well, that squares the sundown. Thanks, Lewis, and good luck to you. You mind if I trail along with you? Be glad to have you, Smokey. Get your horse. All right. Well, fellas, here's where we split. Maybe I'll see you again sometime. We sure hate to see you leaving. Hey, Jake, I'll be staying in town for a couple of days. I wish you'd drop my stuff off the livery stable on your first trip in. Sure. I'd be glad to. Thanks. Well, so long, boys. How much longer is it going to take us to get to this ranch, Taggart? At the rate you've been moving these sheep, I should say two or three days altogether. Is there any water on the ranch? The finest grazing lands in the country. Now it's understood, Taggart, that if we don't like this place, you're not to get any money. I wouldn't expect any. But I'm sure you'll both be satisfied. I'll start the band of moving, Dad. That's a good idea, Beth. Don't rush them. Well, I reckon I'll take a run over to Sand City, Preston. I'll see you in the morning. All right, Taggart. We won't be many miles beyond here.
smoking. Look. Get that foot loose. You've had quite a ride, miss. I don't know much about it. My stirrup broke, and I started to fall, and that's all I remember. Well, when we first saw you, miss, you were hung up, and your horse was running away. Sundown had a hard race to catch you. I certainly thank you for what you've done. I'd have probably been killed. I'm glad we happened along, miss. Uh, miss... Preston's my name. My name is Saunders. How do you do, Mr. Saunders? I'm very glad to know you. Dad and I are just taking a band of sheep down to our homestead. He's just a short way from here. Won't you come over and meet him? I'd be glad to. How do you feel? Think you can make the ride? Well, I'm all right. Just shaking up a bit. Take a look at that syrup, will you, Smokey? Sure. Dad, I want you to meet Mr. Saunders. Howdy, Saunders. Glad to know you, Mr. Preston. This is my friend, Smokey. Howdy, Smokey. Howdy. If it hadn't been for Mr. Saunders, I'd have probably been killed. Yeah? What happened? Well, my stirrup broke and Brownie ran away dragging me. Mr. Saunders happened along and caught him. Well, I certainly do thank you, young man. I'm glad I happened to be there, Mr. Preston. I understand you're taking up a homestead. Well, we haven't exactly decided yet. But if the place is what we think it is, I reckon we'll take it over. You haven't seen it yet, eh? No. A government locator found it for us. It's down in the Panama District. Well, I own 640 acres down there myself. Maybe we'll be neighbors. I sure hope so. We're certainly anxious to get there. So slow trying to handle these sheep by ourselves. See, Dad hasn't been able to get a herder. Well, if you're short of hands, Mr. Preston, uh, Smokey's looking for a job. And he's one of the best sheep men in the country. Well, if you stick with me until we get to the Panaman country, I'll make it well worth your while. Because when I sell them sheep, I'm going in for cattle. Cattle? Well, that's different. <laughs> <laughs> I'll pick you up in a few days, Smokey. All right, sundown. I'll see you folks later then. I yes. hope so. Adios. Goodbye. Goodbye. been for the last couple of years. Oh, just drifting around the country. Yeah. Well, uh, have a drink? Don't care if I do. Get them up, bartender. Hey, Mel. You seen anything to pick around these parts lately? No, I haven't. Haven't seen it for about three months. Hello, Jay. Hello, Tag. How are you? Well, where you been hiding out? 
Across the border. Where'd you go? Nevada. Where? All right, boys, we're all. What's on your mind? The gang's drifting in here in about a week. But if I saw you, to tell you. Yeah? What's up? I don't know. Burke's got something up his sleeve. What are you doing? I got a sucker. Locating him on a deserted ranch down near the Panamint. He thinks I'm with the government. <laughs> I get a thousand dollars for locating him. He's got a wad on him that'd choke a horse. Mm. What'll it be, Jen? What do you drink, Tag? Bourbon. Same here. All right. Keep the chain. Thanks. Where'd you get the roll, Mace? Well, I picked it up across the border. I sure like to take a poke at him. They're not the only one. Play him, Connor. Hold on, fella. All right, Paul. Sorry. Yeah, well, you're just too quick. Let him go, Sheriff. We started this, and I'm gonna finish it. You couldn't. Come on, let him go. I'll finish this sometime. It might as well be now. Come on, let's get it. They can't get away with that here. I'll settle with him the next time we meet. Back into the gate. I can't make any money this way. <laughs> Is that a room, Barkeep? Yeah. First door upstairs, right. Staying in town for a while? No, just long enough to get a few hours sleep. <clears throat> Time's again to be, Kirk. Well, I don't know. I reckon it's about sundown. Sundown, eh? Give me a sack, Mike. This is my lucky hour. <laughs> All right, Your money as good as anybody else. All right, boys, place your bed. Well, All right, place your bed, gentlemen. Well, look at that big bed, too. All ready? All right, gentlemen, here we go. Nice. Nice. Look at that. Oh, look at that. I'll get out of your lucky hour. Good time, Bert. Yeah, boy. 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 <laughs> All right, All right, right. Bed. All right, boys. It'll roar. No money. Oh, oh, you yeah. won again. Yeah. Yeah. You just about broke the bank, Sundown. I reckon I'll cash in, Mike. Now's a good time to quit. <laughs> well, of course, that's your privilege. How much you got there? That'll make about 1900 even. <laughs> Why don't you try to make it 2000 with your well, luck? I've had enough. All right. You know. It was that, gentlemen. Well, there you are, Sundown. $1,900 even. What 
are you going to do with all that dough? It's going to help stock my new ranch. Well, <laughs> come on, boys. The drinks are on me. <laughs> Hombre, here's where we fight it out. Fair enough. I aim to make this a finish fight. No gunplay. Suit me, fella. Make it back to town, fella? Yeah. Yeah, I'd make it. We sure got a wallop, Umbry. But I reckon I had it coming to me. You sure you're all right, then? Yeah. Yeah, I'm all right.
You know, Dad, I don't like this man, Taggart. Oh, he's all right, Beth. That's just his way. Besides, we won't be bothered with him much longer. I wonder what the house looks like. I don't care. So long as there's good grazing land. We can build our home to suit ourselves. I can hardly wait. Here's your key and your money, Jake. Uh, well, I guess now that I've had my shut eye, I'll be on my way. I'll be seeing you again, Daggett. We just found a man by the name of Mace, lying in the road about a half a mile from town. He mumbled something about having a fight with a fellow named Sundown. He was shot in the back. What? We didn't bring him in, Sheriff, figuring you might want to look for clues. Sundown said he'd get him. I've known Sundown for a long time. And it's hard to believe that he'd shoot anyone in the back. You're right, sir. He's not that kind of a fellow. You're right, sir. He's not that kind of a fellow. Well, I reckon it's my duty to bring him in. I'll get the circulars out right away. Although I hate to do it. I'll need some help, boys, to bring Mace in. I'll go along with you, Sheriff. I'll give you a little help. I'm afraid he'll never regain consciousness, Sheriff. I'd sure like to find Sundown and get to the bottom of this. He's probably left the county, Sheriff. I'll get circulars out immediately. We'll pick him up sooner or later. be able to make the house quite comfortable. The barns and the rest of the buildings are also in good condition. I think it's going to be all right, Thacker. After lunch, we'll have a look at the surrounding country. And if it's okay, why, you can make out the papers. What do you think of it, Beth? I think it's swell, Dad. But how does it happen that this hasn't been taken up before? Well, Miss, there's just two reasons. First, most people like to be nearer a town. Second, the average homesteader hasn't got the money to pay for locating. Why, this house and buildings are worth a lot of money. You see, I've been saving this one for someone that could afford to pay for it. Why, to get a house, barns, and buildings like this already on the property is certainly worth a thousand dollars. I'm quite sure you'll be satisfied with the place and be able to make a fine ranch out of it. I'm going to have a look inside, Dad. Come on, Preston. I'll show you the barns. to have kept you waiting these two days, but here you are, a clear deed to your property. Now, this is the old Winton Ranch, is that right? Yes, he was the first one to homestead it. And this includes all rights? Yes, uh, mineral rights, water rights, oil rights, 
Everything on the place belongs to you. That's fine. I wonder which is the shortest way to the ranch, through Sand City or across country? Across country, I think. Thanks. So long. So long. Come in. You sent for me, Doc? Mace has just regained consciousness. He wants to talk to you. Doc says I can't live here. Do you know who shot me? Well, suspicion points to sundown. It couldn't have been him. I followed him out of town. We fought it out. He whipped me in a fair fight. He even offered to bring me back into town. I watched him ride away. I started to get up. Someone shot me from behind. That's all I remember. That clear sundown. Did you have any enemies? Not here. But I did have a roll of bills on me. Did anybody know about this? One of the barkeeps down at the saloon. And Taggart. It couldn't have been Taggart. He was in his room when it all happened, and the barkeeper didn't even leave the place. But someone got your roll. Your pockets were empty when we brought you in. I know that. I discovered it was gone just before the boy found me. I'm sure sorry about those posters I sent out for sundown. Now it's more a mystery than ever. Mm. I'll use your sign this, Mr. Preston. I'll send these papers immediately to Washington. That's all there is to it. That's fine, Tiger. Here's your thousand dollars. Well, guess I'll be on my way. I'll drop around in a few days and see how everything is getting along. You're welcome to drop around any time, Taggart. Much obliged to you. Much obliged to you. Well, goodbye. 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 I think I'll have a ride around the place, Beth. See how Smokey's getting along with the sheep. I'll straighten things up a bit and get dinner. All right, honey. Howdy. Hello there. Well, Miss Preston, this certainly is a surprise finding you here. Oh, we've been expecting you. Smokey said you'd be here any day now. Won't you come in? This is our new home. Your new home? You mean this is your ranch? Well, not just yet. You see, we're just homesteading. But the papers have all been made out, and they're on their way to Washington. Oh, I, I see. Settled yet. You see, we just got here. 
Oh, I think you'll be real comfortable. Won't you sit down? Who had this place before uh, you took it over? Why, uh, Taggart, the man who located us here, called it the old Winton Ranch. Taggart? Who is he? He's a locator in the government service. You must have passed him coming in as he just left a short while ago. Oh, yes, I did pass a man down the road a ways. How's Smokey getting along with the Bavaz? Oh, just fine. I don't know what we'd have done without him. probably find your father with Smokey. Yes, and dinner will be ready in a little while. Don't be late. That's one time I'm never late. <laughs> Preston's been shot. He's hurt bad. Come on. Get me to town. Don't let Bess know I'm hurt. You stay here, Smokey. I'll tell Miss Preston we're going to town on business. All right. came to tell you your dad suddenly decided to go to town. He said not to worry if he doesn't get back tonight. I can't understand what he wants in town. He didn't say. Probably something he forgot to tell Taggart. He's waiting for me. I'll have to hurry. Goodbye. Goodbye. Uh, 
Hello, Tag. Oh, hello, Bert. Mace said you'd be drifting in before long. What's all this I hear about Mace being killed? Oh, he got in a fight with a fella called Sundown. Found him shot in the back just out of town. Here's a picture of the killer. Hmm. Never seen him before. Come on. Have a drink. Hello, Taggart. Hello, Sheriff. Have you caught that fellow sundown yet? No, not yet. I'm not looking for sundown. You see, Mace recovered consciousness before he died. Did he uh, tell you who shot him? No, but he did exonerate Sundown of all blame. I reckon I'll have to look someplace else for the killer. What are you going to have, gents? I'll take my old room if it's still vacant. Sure. What are you drinking, Hank? Oh, I'll take a little shot of rye. Get that phone, will you, sir? Yeah. Hello? Huh? Well, this is the sheriff. The hospital. All right, I'll be there right away. Mace was telling me you got something up your sleeve. Yeah. I'll tell you all about it later. Have our snort. Howdy, Doc. Okay. Hello, sundown. I'm sure glad to see you. I'm glad to see you, Sheriff. What's happened? My friend here, Mr. Preston, was shot and robbed today. Where? Out on his ranch he's homesteading near the Panama. Any clues? Didn't have time to look for any. There was only one man, Sheriff. Who knew I had that money? A fellow by the name of Taggart. He located me on this homestead. It couldn't have been Taggart, Mr. Preston. I passed him going to town. The shooting took place afterwards. Taggart couldn't locate you on anything. He was kicked out of government service about a year ago. They claim he was mixed up with a bunch of renegades. I paid him $1,000 for locating me. I always suspected that fellow. Not like the looks of his associates. Are you sure he didn't turn back, Sundown? After he passed you? He might have without me seeing him. How is he, Doc? He'll be all right. We'll have to keep him here for observation in case of poisoning. Peculiar circumstance. The bullet didn't penetrate the skull. It lodged just under the scalp and caused severe pain by pressing on the nerve. I've got to get right back tonight, Sheriff. My daughter's at home alone. Don't worry about that, Mr. Preston. Smokey and I'll be there. She'll be all right. Come along, Sundown. I have a plan in mind. Oh, by the way, Doc, just let the news drift out that Mr. Preston died. Right, Sheriff. Strange part of it is, Sheriff, I on the ranch that Preston's located on. You do? Yeah. Well, Taggart is in town now. Come on. You take a look at his room. That's his room right up there. We can sneak in through the window. can talk privately. All right. Wait a minute, Sheriff. There's somebody coming. plan, Tag. There's a heap of dough here in this bank, and with that cluck of a sheriff, it'll be an easy job to get it. The boys are all camped out at Paiute Rock. The first time the sheriff leaves town, 
We'll pay the bank a visit. How many boys you got with you? Oh, I reckon about 20 altogether. Are you with us? Sure, I'm with you. However, for this job only, I'm figuring on getting married and settling down. Yeah? Who's the girl? <laughs> Don't worry. I got her all staked out. She's out near the Panamint. All alone and lonesome. Well, that calls for another drink. Come on. How did he know that Beth is alone? He's guilty, all right. But I'm not taking him now. We'll capture this whole gang red-handed. The only trouble is, Sundown, I haven't any gunman that I can rely on. Why don't you deputize the boys over to Bar X? They're just itching for a scrap. It's a good idea. I'll go over there tonight. Hey, sir. What's the idea of everybody climbing up there to our porch? Hey, What do you mean? Well, every other night I seen that fella Taggart climb down from there and right on out of town. About a half an hour he come back and climb up again. Now you're doing the same thing. That explains everything. Taggart followed and killed Mace. Thanks, Ben. You solved a mystery for us. Only keep it to yourself. We'll let Taggart believe that Preston died so that he'll go on with his plans. I'll let him think that I'm going out of town. Oh, uh, Jake, if my deputy comes in, tell him I'll be out of town tomorrow. All right, Sheriff. Well, by the way, they just brought in a dead man from the Panama District, Vanna Preston. He was shot in the back, the same as Mace. I sure would like to find the hombre that's responsible for all this. Well, if you need any help, Sheriff, you can count on me. Thanks, Taggart. I might be after you real soon. Well, Tag, I reckon tomorrow's the day. Here's to the lonesome lady. Well, I gave them an airful. They think that I'm leaving town. Good. I'm going to ride out the ranch, Sheriff. I'll meet you and the boys at Mushroom Rock tomorrow morning. All right, Sundown. Now raise your right hand. You're going to be a deputy. Who was that? He stayed in town, Beth. I didn't want to tell you this morning, but your dad had a bad fall and hurt his head. I took him into the doctor, but he's all right now, and he told me to tell you not to worry. He'd be home in the morning. Oh, but I did worry. I thought there was something wrong. Oh, but I'm so glad it wasn't serious. Won't you sit down? Thanks. I'm so glad you're here. I didn't like the idea of being alone here tonight without someone near. We thought of that. That's why I came back. Tell me about your ranch. Is it far from here? Not so far, but that I could spend many evenings here if you didn't object. Well, I'd love to have you.
I'd better go down and see Smokey before he turns in. Won't you come up and have breakfast with me in the morning? I have to leave before dawn, Beth. But I'll sure accept your invitation for dinner. You have a standing invitation for dinner. Good night, Beth. Good night. See you tomorrow. I'll be waiting for you. How's Preston? He's going to be all right. And we've got positive proof that Taggart shot him. No. I didn't want to tell Beth about it this morning because it'd worry her. And besides, there's too much to explain. Listen, the sheriff and the Bar X boys are going to round up Taggart and his gang tomorrow. You keep your eyes open in case he should make a break and come here. Shoot if necessary. But don't let him get away. All right, son, now. Come sundown now. How are you? Yes, hi. 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 I see the boys are all with you, Sheriff. Yes, you bet. What's the idea of all the white handkerchiefs? Well, the boys are wearing nose so that we can distinguish ourselves from the outlaws. That's not a bad idea. Well, looks like we're all ready. Let's go.
Where's Taggart? I saw Taggart riding off with sundown falling after him. I know where he's headed. Take him into town, boys. I'll see you there later. Come on, you fellas. Get going. got to get out of here right away, Miss Preston. There's a gang of outlaws headed by Sundown Saunders on their way here. Sundown? Outlaws? Explain. Sundown is at the head of a murderous gang. It was he that killed your father. Killed my father? Yes. They brought him into town last night dead. Dead? Oh, I don't believe you. Maybe this will prove what he is, Miss Preston. We've got to hurry, Miss Preston. They'll be here any minute. He's at the house with Miss Preston. Taggart's at the right, Sheriff. We've got to hurry.
Are you all right, Beth? I'm all right. But you, Dad, he said you were dead. That's just another one of Taggart's tricks. Come on. Sure did a good job, Sundown. He's out cold. J.M. Jack Mays. I suppose this belongs to Preston. Are you all right there? Oh, I'm all right. It's a good thing you left that wagon. Is this yours, Mr. Preston? It's mine. I reckon the money's all here. That clears up everything, Sheriff. Everything's all right. Only I've lost a good ranch. You haven't lost the ranch, Mr. Preston. You see, it belongs to me. You? Yes. We'll just keep it in the family. <laughs> 